As our core technology, motion capture makes the body our most powerful expressive element. Macap takes place in a real space, which becomes the body's most important carrier in turn. Therefore, we are curious about how the body will affect our interaction with space. How will the same body in virtual and real spaces create a connection? How will different bodies interact with each other? We have collected these curiosities together. What if the body is space itself? In the game world, terrain is an indispensable and completely customizable element. Combining knowledge of Macap live streaming, we came up with the idea that a player's body in a game can be the terrain and change with Macap actions. This sparked our project. Inspired by games such as It Takes Two, we realized that a player's body, which forms the terrain, can be used as a way for another player to achieve the game goal. Therefore, we made cooperative gameplay one of the core aspects of our project. With this concept as our foundation, we used Motive software and the Optic Track streaming component to transmit Macap data to Unity in real time. Players wearing Macap devices became our game terrain and needed to safely transport another player, number 996, to the endpoint to win the game. Why do we choose the background of the end of the world? An increasingly tense world order inspired our story. At the same time, we also refer to games, film, and television works similar to The Last of Us. Imagine a world in 2258 AD that is entirely different from the present. After the nuclear war, the oceans are polluted, humanity is on the verge of extinction, and the remaining creatures struggle to survive in a hostile and unforgiving world. The group Slime Molds was born in such a post-apocalyptic world. What is the relationship between human and number 996 in the game? Tool 007 is a motion capture controller that restores the transfer station. No.996 is the controller who must guide Tool 007 through dangerous and dilapidated facilities, use the body of the control person to build bridges and overcome obstacles. This game is a co-op game where another player controls one player. We take into account theoretical knowledge of body politics. Body politics refers to how social and political forces regulate, control and manipulate the human body. Body politics can manifest in several ways in gaming, such as through regulations governing how players move and interact with the environment. How do we visualize them? We see the world through the lens of slime molds, and their eyes see a world fraught with the dangers of nuclear contamination but also with a majestic spectacle. In Unity, we use standard pipelines and lots of fog and bloom effects to render the atmosphere, and the background of the game is suggested by the human corpses and human garbage floating in the ocean. We integrated all elements, this unique world is established, and the 3D creatures designed in the game have unique stories and purposes. They are all new species born after recombining slime molds and other species. Game Scene Upgrade Richer use of body after the primary use of the second player's arm, the map can be upgraded to allow players to use more body parts to try different moves to fill the gaps between terrain, making the whole game more cooperative and exciting. Game Enrichment Creating a more complete world we want to add more NPCs, more explicit guidance and a storyline. Improve the hostile characters and even the combat system and enrich the ecosystem in the game. Upgrading the experience, combining virtual and realistic integration mapping the game terrain on a realistic field, creating references to the different levels in the game so that the number 2 player can have a clearer idea of what the game scenario is like and what kind of movements he needs to make to match the number 1 player better. Performance We try to develop a game theater with a more immersive experience. Strengthen the narrative design of each link and level, and enhance the interactive experience between players and NPCs. We could consider player voice acting or provide more control between the two players.